Okay, so I'm gonna, in this video, I'm gonna share with you one of my biggest complaints with um, really most email marketing platforms, uh, including in this case, ConvertKit. And that is the fact that every email you send through ConvertKit has the email content that is surrounded by a template. Anything outside of the email content is effectively static. So that would be your logo, that would be stuff in the footer, and all the stuff in the middle is the email content. And that's typically more or less okay. I mean, that's what how the majority of people who use ConvertKit are using ConvertKit. But I want to draw your attention to what's on my screen, and that is James Clear's weekly email, his 321 Thursday. And this is a ConvertKit send email that has content, and it is wrapped by a template that has a little header up here with the logo, and it has a footer that has the social share widget and a, um, the normal unsubscribe stuff. And what happens whenever James and his team wants to send another email, another 321 Thursday email, is they're gonna duplicate the, the last, week email, last week's email and they're gonna change some stuff. They're gonna change this headline. They're gonna update this date to be the current day. They might change this introduction. I don't think this really changes week to week. And then they're gonna keep you know, these headlines, but they're gonna change the three ideas they're gonna change the two quotes, they're gonna change the question, and they're gonna change the PS. This stuff is effectively static except for this link. Um, but you, you can see that in James Clear's email that he sends every Thursday, there is a lot of structure in this email. There's components that are reused again and again, and it's up to his team to make sure that when they duplicate the previous week's email that they don't mess anything up. So. I wanna bring your attention to a product that I've been working on, which is a bit like a web flow for email marketing uh, that works with platforms like ConvertKit. And this product is called Palladio. And one of the things that I really wanted to make sure of with Palladio is that I could do some of the more advanced stuff, um, like what I just talked about, the structural stuff, in a really easy and elegant way that would then work seamlessly with my email platform, which happens to be ConvertKit. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is I'm gonna, I've recreated James Clear's email in Palladio or his email template in Palladio. And what I wanna show you how I can set up these different slot variables that allow me to have a structure that stays the same every single week, every time I send an email, but allows me to easily and safely add in dynamic content that changes week to week. So. Like I talked about in um, James's email before, we have a headline, we have a date, we have an introduction, we have the three ideas, the two quotes, and so on. And what I've done in Palladio is I've I've replicated this. I've you know everything that is not blue is effectively static. So the header up here, the read on jamesclair.com, even the date. And the date though, I'm using Liquid to automatically show today's date. So I never need to go in and change this to be you know the current day I'm sending it it will automatically always show the right date. So even though that's not static, I'm treating it kind of as static. But the big thing I wanna draw your attention to is these big blue boxes, like the headline, the intro, three ideas, and so on. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just finish replicating James Clear's email template in Palladio. I'm gonna show how I export it into ConvertKit and then how I use it to send a broadcast email, in this case, that uses this, this structure. Okay, so what I've done so far is I've, um, I've added the headline, the introduction, and the three ideas area. And what we need to do to, to maintain consistency between what, we, what James has done and what I have here is we need to have the, uh, the two quotes from others area and then the one question for you area. So to do this um, with Palladio, so Palladio is a fully what you see is what you could editor. So I can click, I can drag stuff around, I can move stuff. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this headline, the three ideas headline. I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna add this down here. Now, this needs to change to two quotes from others. Now, this is static. This text is gonna stay, stay the same every single week. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. And then I'm gonna grab this area, this dynamic blue area, and copy that. And I'm gonna move that right down here too. Now. This needs to become the two quotes from others area. So one thing that Palladio does, which is which I think is, is pretty interesting and, and pretty fun, 
is you can define variables that accompany an email. So I've already set up some variables like headline, intro, the three ideas, and so on. I'm going to add a new variable now called two quotes. And this is rich content. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy what he had in his last email. Let's paste that in here. And let's make sure we get a horizontal rule in between. So this is going to be the default content that I can amend every single week. Um, and once I have that in, I'm going to go down to the two quotes and I'm going to plop in the, um, the variable that I just set up. So under the hood, everything, uh, all the variables that you just saw me define end up becoming liquid templating variables, which is what ConvertKit uses under the hood. So what I've done is now I have a, um, a, a, a second area, the two quotes from others, which has a static headline and then dynamic content here. And to completely replicate James's email template, I go to, go down the list and add all the different stuff, but I'm not going to bore you with kind of the, the repetition of doing that. But I want to show you now how I would use this email template I've just created in ConvertKit. So I'm going to go into my test ConvertKit account and I'm going to go and actually I'm going to do it through the app because the app walks you through doing this. I'm going to click add to ConvertKit. And it's gonna, the first step is gonna be to take all this code it's compiled. So you'll see it compiled a lot of code with some liquid content um, and, and variables and so on. And this is done automatically. So I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. And then I'm going to walk through what it tells me to do. So it wants me to go into ConvertKit and create a new HTML uh, email template and just paste whatever I have in. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna click new email template. I'm going to choose custom HTML, James Clear, and just paste that in and click Save. Okay, so now that I've added James Clear's template in, now what I can do is I can, oh, I forgot to actually tell it that I've done this. So click here, and now I've clicked this button, and now it knows that this email template is now in my ConvertKit account. And what, what it's going to do is anytime I make changes here, it will alert me if what I have in Palladio is not what is in ConvertKit. Uh, since at the moment ConvertKit's API doesn't allow you to store email templates automatically, it's kind of a manual thing, but I am working with the ConvertKit team to make it so eventually this will just be a button you press and then it sends it up to your account, account automatically. Um, okay, so this template's now in my ConvertKit account. Great. So I wanna now use this in an actual email. So I'm gonna click use an email. And here's where I'm gonna go and set up my, um, my my actual weekly email. So if you click on preview, this is what would be sent, right? So I haven't gone through and I haven't done all the other one question stuff, but this is this is more or less here. So I'm gonna do a headline called um, you know, demo video. You know, this is my demo video. And then I could go in and, you know, add some stuff here, so on and so forth. And this is what it would look like. So demo video headline. Here's the date, which is the 29th of March. Here's my demo video stuff. Great, so this looks good. So what we're doing to allow ConvertKit to have this kind of slotted structure stuff that we need to make it so we have these different dynamic placeholders where we're changing key bits of content while keeping the entire rest of the email consistent is we're doing a lot of liquid to, or we're using under the, under the hood a lot of liquid to make this happen. So Palladio writes all of your liquid for you. So in this case, I've just set up what I wanted to say here. Uh, I make sure it looks right here. And now I just blindly copy what is here uh, to my clipboard. So now when I go into ConvertKit, if I send a broadcast email, I'm just gonna choose new broadcast. Uh, I'm gonna call this James Clear Test. I'm gonna take the template I just loaded in and I'm just gonna paste this right in when I click preview, there's exactly what we're looking for. There's the headline. This is static. This is static. This is dynamic. Um, the quotes, oh, I didn't add the quotes. Yeah, that's my good, my bad. Um, but that's basically what I would do. So when I'm ready to send a weekly email, I would just go in and put in all the content here and then click, you know, make sure it looks the way I want it to look for that email and then just send it off and, and uh, paste it blindly 
all this mess of liquid into ConvertKit. But why, in, in summary, why this is so important is it's important, I think, to have um, structural elements in an email, especially if you do something like James's emails, where there's, it's very templated, for lack of a better way of putting it. You have these three different areas. You have the PS, you have the share links, which are kind of static. You have the header, which is static. You have the headlines, which are kind of static. You want all that stuff never to get touched, but you want the dynamic stuff to, to be modified. So with Claudio, what's really nice is I can go and visually set up what's static and what is not. And then I, um, when I'm ready to get it in ConvertKit, I just click this button, do what I just showed you. And then when I'm ready to use it in an actual email, it's just a matter of clicking use an email, filling out the stuff, and then bringing it into ConvertKit. Now I can also, if, you, if you're interested, you can, you can by all means, author and edit stuff directly in the ConvertKit editor. You can just make sure it's within the right uh, variable slot that um, is responsible for you know showing the content you're putting in. But if you want to use ConvertKit to use their editor, use their formatting, upload an image there, um, totally doable there too. But that's that's pretty much how Plotio works under the hood. So you can do a normal template in Plotio, like the basic template, where it's really just a email template where you have just the email content and then you have everything around it, which is static. Um, but if you wanna go a little more complex and do something like what I've done here, where we have these definite slot areas that we can put content in while keeping everything else consistent, um, that's also, easily doable with Plotio. And, and especially when you add on things like widgets, like at the bottom, this social share widget, which is also, um, James uses my social share widget that you see here, uh, so, albeit a slightly modified version. Um, that's also all using liquid. So, you know, really at the end of the day, what what, I'm tr what I've tried to do with Plotio is not only make a editor for you to visually create really extensible and compliant and nice to nice looking, email templates, but also make it so these email templates are, are really smart in that you can have consistent structure with these variable dynamic bits of content within it and also be able to embed widgets like a podcast player or a reader question or a testimonial or whatever, and then use that and mix that into your content that you send out to your list um, whenever you email them. So hopefully that answers some not only questions about what Palladio is and how does it work and why is it the way it is, but also hopefully it gives you an idea of how you can use Palladio to not only um, design a template, but also get it into your ConvertKit account in this case, and then use it in an actual ConvertKit email. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, just let me know. Um, my, You can email me directly at brennan at uh, createandsell.co. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, I love seeing what people are doing already with Palladio and seeing that it's already being used by so many different creators to send really great looking emails. So hopefully um, you can do the same. All right, thanks.